It's our first morning of the safari. Um, as you can see, it's a bit overcast and misty, so we're going to try for zebras and nyala and maybe a kudu if we see something or sable. Um, yeah, but yeah, we're going to have a wet morning ahead of us. We've seen quite a few animals on the way in here. Yeah, so yeah. It's been great time. Yeah, yeah. We've had fun already. some thick bush and then on top there's a, a tree that looks almost like a lollipop like, yeah. so you just come down from that some blue all the beast and see Feel good about the shot? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, that was awesome. That right was in the middle of it. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. The shoulder was sort of covered by the bush, but there was a good right shot. On the edge of it. Just on the edge of the shoulder. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Sounded like it hit. Yes, yes, and it reacted when it turned, it like fumbled a bit. Oh, okay. They are big animals, so they do take some time to go down. <laughs> Well done, Ned. Yeah. First, your first animal as well. First, animal. Beautiful, Beautiful. As you can see, it's a misty morning, uh, making for difficult hunting conditions, but luckily um, it cleared up a little bit and allowed us to spot these um, group of zebras across the valley, probably at like 800 yards, um, with a bit of rain in between, so it wasn't easy. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it it worked out yeah we had a long long walk on on a muddy trail to get here and we had a really nice stock and uh, found this one out in the open and we shot it and looking for it and my wife happened to find it so <laughs> he's always said bird i'm his head. bird dog so yeah. <laughs> Russell, um, first day in Africa, and uh, we've spotted a beautiful sable bull. Uh, he's got very good length to him and very nice hard bases. Um, the wind was wrong where we were there, so we've just moved around to get above him. And then we're going to sneak down through this brush here and hopefully we get a clear shot at him. Okay, works for me. Let's go and have a look.
wind right. Yeah. Okay, there's nice cover at least, so we should get yeah. nice and close. Okay. Thank you. You put the hammer down on him there. How was that, eh? It's too good with busy smokers on. And we heard the horns knocking in the thick stuff and we snuck up here and uh, the bigger bull of the two stepped out perfectly and gave us a shot. Hey, how's that? Very exciting. Very, very exciting. Well done. Let's go take a look at him. Look at that. What a trophy, my man. Eh? Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful big bull. Yeah, thank you. Yes, and it's a big bullet. Hey, a little far back, didn't I? No, this was that's the that's uh yeah that's our size. Hold on, yeah. That beautiful, beautiful bull. Yeah, thank it's you. It's a proper sable bull right there. It's a big bull. Darker than them other two. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his bases. Oh, oh we um got to our spot now this afternoon and um wind was in our in our favor and told Kerry you know it's a good good area where we've been seeing um other couple of guys saw um two sable bulls fighting this morning so we decided to you know come in the area and have a look if we couldn't um find these two bulls and found another group of the two bulls and put a stalk on them just to get a bit closer to see um what they were like and um yeah I found this this third bull which we never saw and um, got carry on the sticks and 
beautiful shot, perfect shot on the shoulders where I told him to put it. And yeah, well done, Kerry. Beautiful bull, sir. Beautiful morning here. Uh, we had a great day yesterday. Got two kudus and before 7.30. Uh, just heading, uh, heading out to a different property today. My brother's going to shoot a gems buck, hopefully this morning. And uh, we'll go from there. So we were off to Wooderbuck this morning. We're following a nice bull with some cows. And um, walking down this little draw, we found this Nyala bull watching us at 30, 40 yards. And um, I just put the sticks out and TJ made a great shot. And the Nyala bull went down in his tracks. Um, beautiful, beautiful old bull. Um, he's got absolutely no teeth left in his body. Um, starting to go down in condition. Really, really a great bull and great well, shot thank you yeah we didn't expect it there no. but we made it count eh when it needed to so yeah very very nice nyala bull
the great one. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. So we spotted a water buck across the draw. So we walked around the draw, lost him for a little bit, and then we saw him standing by a tree facing us. Uh, took a shot, and he went down, and we went to confirm the kill, and here we are. And we need reinforcements to uh, get yeah. him out of here. Yeah, I don't know how the hell we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but a beautiful bull, um, Trev, it's a really, really nice bull, and well done and a great shot, Thank well played shot. Uh, you smoked Thank him in the front of the chest like Thank like you. I told you to do. Thanks for getting the shot. Beautiful Appreciate old bull with great character, good good bit of mass here. Um, but a very, very nice bull. Um, let's just hope the getting him out here isn't, isn't a big thing. Hopefully we not right. change the nut, but a well-deserved right. bull. Right. Worked hard today. Thank very you. well done. Thank you. and we're hunting the backside of the property today. We're looking for a golden wildebeest and uh, it's a variant of the blue wildebeest and uh, they like hanging out in this thick valley down here. So let's go and have a look and see if we can find them. Sound good, bro. Sound good. Justin, uh, St. Paul is probably about uh, 600 yards away right now. Uh, he's actually busy feeding away, but the wind's in our favor. He's just walked over this night, so I'm going to sneak down here and use the brush to advantage. And uh, pretty sure we can get within 50 or 10. So I'm going to get it down. Very nice. Awesome. Well done. Nice, Justin. Good dog. Good dog. Good dogs. Beautiful ram, yeah. Eh? Um, nice thick bases, and you've made an excellent shot on him, yeah. He probably went around like 80 yards total. 
and uh, just to give the dogs a run uh, we let them go on the trail and uh, now they found him but uh, it was inevitable that he was going to go down with that great shot that you made there so well done thank you We eventually found this blue wildebeest this afternoon that we were looking for this morning. Uh, we had no joy, but uh, at least now from a long distance off we spotted him. Um, he's in a very tricky area at the moment. He's with a couple of eland and we're going to come around above him and uh, we're going to probably crest a slight rise where he is and it's probably going to be a 60 to 80 yard shot. So okay. we'll have to be speedy on the trigger you know, as long as he's presenting a good shot. So we've already identified that he's a good bull, okay. lone bull on his own. So let's go take a look. I can see some of the eland, yeah, they're about 140 yards from us. Okay. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. What do you think, Russell? Awesome. So, Russell, we've got your beautiful golden wildebeest, yeah? Um, we came out this morning to try and find him, but uh, he was absolutely nowhere to be seen. And uh, then it got a bit hotter, then we went back to the lodge. And uh, this afternoon we came out, and after about 40 minutes or so, uh, he was spotted right on top of this opposite uh, hillside here. Yeah? And uh, we left uh, fellow PH Lloyd on the other side with a radio, and we came from above them, and he was with a group of 12 or 13 Eland. And, uh, the first time uh, when we came up to them through the brush, there was one lone eland quite a long ways between uh, the wildebeest and us and he kind of saw us and, and moved off a little bit and then they kind of relaxed again. Then we came around from the bottom and then the wind switched and they smelt us and they all took off. But luckily the eland ran down to the right and the wildebeest kind of circled down on the bottom of the ridge. And uh, Lloyd told us that, you know, the direction that he was running and we kind of ran over to the left and cut him off and got a nice shot at about 140, 150 yards and you absolutely put the hammer down on him and you can be really proud of your shot um, it was a very marginal angle that he gave us and uh, yeah, well done It was a very fun experience didn't know if I was going to get a shot at him or not very beautiful animal
let's see if we can find the grip above that we're looking for. Um, nice little valley that we're looking into here, so I'm just gonna glass up it and see if we can find them. Take her, Kerry. Take her. Take her, Kerry. Take her. Good job. <gasps> Good job. Well done, boss. <sighs> well done. Whew. Man, that's tough one, tough one. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's get it up. Put one in there. I got one. Just beyond that shoulder, kid. One horn was down. Or is it just kind of there? Hey, boys. I'll put two drops here. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Hands are hot. <laughs> Hold on, Kerry. Yes, you too. Very good job. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Exciting. Up close and personal. Well done, boss. Yep, you bet. Well done. Well done. Very well done. Congratulations. Thank you. That was good. Congratulations, sir. Well done. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. This was a very exciting hunt. The adrenaline was flying high. We had to sneak through bushes and stuff to catch them and had them coming right at us once and then they took off. So we had to go back around and 
Got another, sh got, finally got a shot at him. So they said I made a good shot. Good. So, um, yeah, this morning we crept up into this big valley where the buffalo have been, been bedded up quite a lot to the guys have been seeing them. And, um, yeah, I found the herd where they were sunning themselves for the morning. Um, sort of got into to a good distance and bumped them one or, once or twice. And then the wind was also swirling a lot. Eventually we got, um, Got in about 40, 50 yards in the group. Um, picked out the one for Gary, um, for Gary, and hey, I had a good shot on him, um, exactly where I wanted the shot to be. And uh, followed up again on the tracks. Um, after a couple of minutes, followed up and got a bit of blood, got on the tracks again, and we bumped her at about 10 yards, um, thanks to Polwana. He bumped, well, he saw her first, and I yeah, bumped into her. She wasn't too happy. Um, I got a shot in, Gary got a shot in, and yeah, it was a good hunt. Got, Beautiful buff. Well done, sir. Yep, very, very, very well good. done. Yeah, you know, good day. I got him? <laughs> My gun pissed me that time. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Well done, boss. I thought I hit him again. <laughs> I heard a whop. Give me five there, my man. Give me five. That was beautiful. <sighs> Good hunt. Good hunt. But it's going to be a bitch to get him, though, I think. Yes, Gary. There's a beautiful bull there, sir. Look at that. Yeah. Those are big tips. Congratulations, man. Very well done. Who is that? Yeah, perfect, perfect shot. Mm -hmm.
so I get better swing that way. Okay, okay so um, we've been off in Yala a few days now, probably three or four days. Um, mostly seen females and two bulls yesterday, but they got away from us. So we've just seen a bull now, we're just gonna go have a closer look and see what he looks like, so yeah. Here we go. Well done, eh? finally. Thank you. Jeez. Thank you, Dennis. Oh, sorry. Thanks. That was quite simple. Take it all that mud. Okay, guys, so we finally. Ed finally got his Nyala after three or four long days and um, lots of walking and yeah we've seen a lot of females and younger bulls um, and this was the first mature bull that we got a chance on in the last three days so it's been pretty tough going um, but anyway Ed made a great shot at 250 yards the Nyala went down in probably 50 yards or so and uh, yeah that's that. Thank you very much. Yeah, well done. Eh? <laughs> well done.
Wait, see him, I just want to make sure. Is this all right? Yeah, that's him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fall back. Shit. He moved before I pulled. That's him. God damn, that was... Hi, <laughs> Bootsy. Well, this is, this is two days, or day and a half worth of work. We showed up here yesterday. We walked. Well, I guess I didn't walk as much as everybody else, but we pushed him up and down and around and out. And they, we finally said the heck with it. We're getting ready to leave. End of the day with a beautiful Impala. Came back here this morning with a little better game plan. Did a little driving around and spotting and found this one and the stock was on, I guess. We, uh, well, the first shot was a little over 300 yards. At least we got one in him. And then after that, it was kind of chasing him around till we could get another one in him. Got one in the back end. Got the dogs on him on a blood trail and here we are. <laughs> 